what is going on guys we are back with another car what do you know obviously i have an issue i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up last night i think you guys will like it i love it and uh it's definitely a little bit of a project but it's not that we can't handle So what we have here is a 1992 180 SX, my first JDM hatch. Um, obviously we have my drift car that's been sitting idle for quite some time. We got the Sylvie over there, but I've always wanted a 180 hatch. This thing popped up somewhat locally. It was a little over two hours away. And uh, the price was fair enough where I thought I could uh, enjoy it for a little bit and sell it down the road. I don't know really why I bought this, but I thought I needed it. So here we go. Here we have under the hood, the almighty SR20. So we got this red top in here, little backstory. Um, this car was a running and driving car. Um, the owner decided to do a couple mods, i.e. manifold, turbo, intercooler setup, um, stuff like the electric fans, which uh, I hope the clutch fans in the car, cause I'm gonna go back to that. Um, he did fuel system, injectors, coilover, stuff like that. Um, of course, there are a couple little things about this car that I, I definitely don't love, starting with this. Very common S chassis issue right here, GTR R chassis. Any Nissan chassis has this issue right here. Um, previous owner decided to take out the battery box, the battery tray, and uh, kind of ripped it apart a little bit of course it was a little rusty in this area which is funny because the rest of the car is absolutely spotless so down the road i'm gonna go ahead and replace this and probably put a battery tray back in this car because i do believe this car is just fine with a battery up here as you can see he did run that guy right there don't love the look of that that's gonna change uh we have some 750 cc injectors the whole car itself has how many miles 65,000 kilometers so around 40 to 45,000 miles on the whole car engine all that it's verified so it's pretty sick plans are to get this thing running and driving get it tuned it does have a gt 2871r turbo isr ram horn manifold um, like a CX Racing intercooler setup, which is fine. Still has all of the AC components and uh, everything is basically there. Moving over here, we have some brand new RPF ones wrapped in some Bridgestone Potenzas. Pretty sick. Uh, definitely like some RPF ones. Uh, not my first choice of wheels on a S chassis, but um, they look good. They have brand new tires on them. They'll stay for now. Now, of course, I can't really get inside of the car to show you guys the interior. The interior, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, just because now the dash is unfortunately cracked. It sat outside in the sun for the past year, so uh, it happens. I'm going to go ahead and get a dash mat. I like the dash mats, um, and uh, covers up the cracks, makes me a little bit happier not seeing the cracks. So I'm going to leave the interior full as, as, as full as I can, as complete as I can, as original as I can. I'll probably end up putting a wheel in it, minority probably, and uh, just making it look OEM plus. Oh shit. She's good. Just did a quick vac on the inside of the one eighty. 
And I gotta say, she cleans up pretty well. Check out this carpet. Door panels are nice. The dash, unfortunately, does have some cracks, but the seats are nice. Everything else is pretty dang nice. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the cowl and the engine bay just to kind of clean it up a little bit and see what we're working with. We're gonna leave this as is for today. We cleaned up the inside real nice and uh, I am just kind of out of time for today, unfortunately, but the next day we will go through all of this junk right here. I wanna go ahead and put as much interior as I can back in. Um, I know I am missing a couple pieces. This whole interior side, that kind of looks like that. And uh, kind of bummed about that. I don't like this at all.